We're going to talk about the terribly useful block of wood today. Now, I want you to notice this is a piece of oak. It's a rectangle with a broad, flat bottom designed to stand on its own in front of the lifter. It's taller than the knee, or approximately the same height as the knee for most people. And what we're going to do with this thing is we're going to correct knee position errors on the squat. Rusty's going to come in here and show us a common error, which is knee slide, which means he's too forward. Notice that his knees are way in front of his toes. This always accompanies too vertical a back angle. So I'm going to control his back angle by blocking the knees with this piece of wood. And I'm going to set it right in front of his toe. I want no more forward knee travel on his anthropometry than this position right here. And you'll notice that I have moved the block to where most of it is on the outside so that if he lets his knees cave in, he'll miss the block altogether. I'm going to tell him to touch the block with his knees, but don't knock it over. This thing can be knocked over with too much forward knee travel. So if he squats down and doesn't knock it over while touching it, then his knees cannot travel any more forward than they need to to produce that back angle. This is the back angle we want for the correct use of the hips out of the bottom of the squat. And as he comes up, you'll notice the hip drive. You can't do that if your knees are too far forward. The knee block provided by the terribly useful block of wood reinforces the correct back angle. Do it again. Touch the board, don't knock it over, and then come up out of the bottom. And this thing can correct in just a couple of minutes. A terribly embedded problem. It's a very, very useful tool. You should get one for your gym. Hope this helps.